everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creations by Christina. Today I'm going to show you how to make from the tags, bags, boxes and more um, the heart bag using the uh, window function on the Cricut Expression. Um, I cut my paper at five and a half inches and I did pencil mark where my score lines are because I it's hard to see on the um, on this pattern paper. So what you need to do is there's four lines that need to be scored. So we're just going to go ahead and score those. Okay. So now what we're going to do is for the window, I'm going to flip it over, and I have a piece of acetate. This is um, actually transparency paper that I got from Staples for, I think there's a hundred in a box of, um, yeah, a hundred in a box, and I've, I don't know, I've barely used it, and I've made like 30-some um, little pillow box treat, treat bags or gifts for my son's class at Christmas time, filled with M&Ms. Um, so you get a lot of use out of it. I made a whole bunch of sets of uh, clear clear cards for Christmas too. But just with a small piece of acetate using glue dots, I just glued this on the opposite side of the, the bag. So, And now what I'm going to do is fold on the score line. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put some, some adhesive right on the flap. And what you do with this is just line it right up so it matches the, uh, it lines right up with the front of the bag, or the, actually this would be the back of the bag. I've got a little bit of... Okay, so and it's really cool because you can see the, the pattern from the inside of the paper. And now we're just going to put some ribbon. Now I picked this out originally. It's like a light green ribbon, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. I think we're going to go with something else. Um, I don't know. I seem to always use brown. I keep all my ribbon in on the clothespins in the basket. I have two two of these baskets. Well, I guess I'm going with brown. I didn't want to because I seem to always use use brown ribbon, but I will first. Um, this is just shredded, really thin paper, um, and what I do is, especially if you don't have any of the, the little gift bag fill stuff, I just shred it real thin, wrinkle it up, and kind of spread it out, just stick it inside, and then I'm going to tie this shut, I think. pressure of tying a bow on camera. Boy, I can never <laughs> I have such terrible times tying a bow when this camera is running. I don't know why. I guess I just get nervous. too short in case. Oh, that just, I just love the way that came out. All right, now let's make a little gift um, gift card. This is a piece of van very vanilla from Stampin' Up. I just love their card stock. Um, this is cut at three inches by six inches, and I just fold it in half. This is another piece of the same paper. This paper's from um, a paper pack I just bought over the weekend. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's from Kane Company um, designer paper, and I just 
I mean, I don't see how I cannot use every single sheet of paper in that in that pack. It's just fabulous colors, and I really love it. I'm just making this really simple, really simple gift card. And I'm going to need more ribbon. Okay. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is, this is the Hugs and Kisses stamp that's from the um, Love You Much stamp set that's on special right now with uh, Stampin' Up. And I'm just going to use that with a piece of um, Whisper White. And use chocolate chip. Stampin' Up's chocolate chip. And I'm going to punch this up, but I don't know what size punch I want to use. I'm going to use the one, one and a quarter punch and just line it up. Okay, I'm going to use a one and a half inch scallop punch and I'm going to punch out another piece of um, paper. Th that was chocolate chip uh, cardstock. And then I don't know if any of you ever used, this is um, Scotch uh, double face foam tape, and if you don't have any dimensionals or um, foam dots or anything, this is, this is wonderful. This, I've had this forever, I've used it on a whole bunch of different sets of invitations I was making for somebody, and it just, it lasts forever, and it's not really thick. Some of the foam dots I don't like, or the um, pop dots I don't like because they're so thick. So, but these are perfect, and we're just going to put this right on the front of the card. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations by Christina. Bye.